Hey everyone, Stephen from the Flyby Guys, and I wanted to make this video because I've had so many questions about the Tesla light show that we done and how it was done. Now, I've made a video about how we done it when we were flying it, but how the show was done. Now, this, now, this, these, the one that we done here in Finland, um, is, is, is very unique because of the planning that was involved and because the team that were actually dedicated to the planning so i mean this says a lot i mean you can see all the cars being organized here and 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 put into the right places because it was all about measuring making sure the cars were in the right distance from each other so we could see the lights this was really important in the planning and the fact that this was done well in advance so that on the day or on the night that when people arrive they can be put into place we could then get the show up and then get everything done which we done in one take now how the show was done, I've had so many questions from people about how this was done and there was a lot of misinformation going around and people thinking that uh, that the cars were, let's say, remotely controlled outside. That's not the case. Uh, the cars cannot be remotely controlled from outside unless you do it from your own application, which you, as a car owner, have. Um, so there's no so there's no control from a third party outside. Everything is done with the USB stick, and we get this USB stick from Simon Pollock from TeslaLightShows.io. Make sure you go to his website and check him out. He's also on X, and uh, he has a really good holiday update for that as well. But Simon's planning for this was incredible, and of course it started out with 300 cars that were supposed to be, then it went up to 700, which of course we then went down to 687. Um, and the way that he planned this but it wasn't just a case of designing the show and then just giving out usb sticks every car had to be you know in the right place and every usb stick had to go to the right lane of all those cars because again you have a wave so not every usb stick can go in any car so it has to be done properly and simon spent hours days getting this right so that when it came to the show he would put the USB sticks out to the correct cars in the correct place. It was quite a stress for him, but he managed it and it was fantastic and a great job by him. Uh, again, please make sure you go to his website, teslalightshows.io, and you can download any shows there. He's, he, he has a holiday one for Christmas now. Go and, go and get that. So, um, how, are, how, how are the cars synced? How is that done? Well, I, I honestly thought that this was done through the cell of either your phone with the connectivity or the premium connectivity, which I have. I, I, have, premium, uh, I have the premium connectivity. But no, it's done through GPS. So the GPS clock is what syncs all the cars. So every car does have the correct time linked to GPS. So that makes it very easy. So when we sync up the show, the cars will then start at the right time. This has been the biggest question of all. Uh, so, and how do we do that? Well, we do it with the USB stick, which Simon supplies to us. And there are five USB ports in the car, two here, two at the back, and then there's one in the glove box, which is which you get a USB stick from Tesla, and it's recording data and stuff like that. So you just take that out, and then you, you actually replace it, and I'll do that here. Open glove box. So I then just take out the USB stick that I get from Tesla, and then I put in the one that I get from Simon. And then I can close that. I then bring up the toy box, and in here I will select light shows. So I, and then I can schedule a show. So I select schedule, and then I can bring down, so there's already, uh, light shows that are in the car but I can choose the USB it says here custom USB light show and so that's the, this is the show that we have so that's now selected and then I just select the time so we done this uh, uh, you know everyone knew because we had a radio for everyone to, to, to say what time so we select that time and then we confirm and then it will show you that you have X amount of time to get out of the car because you have to leave the car. You can't be in the car when you have the show. So you have X amount of time uh, and then you can go out and you can watch it. And that's exactly what happened. So everyone went outside and then all the cars synced up at the exact same time, which gave you this. Everybody. Everybody. 
So I hope that answers all the questions to everyone. No, let's say misinformation or whatever, you know, um, but it's, it's very, very simple. Uh, and that doesn't mean to say that something can happen to your car because you can do this, you know, it's, it's, it is purely, uh, you know, it's purely innocent. And Tesla were not involved in this at all. So Tesla were not at all involved. I think Tesla came down, uh, j j you know, just to be there, but they were in no way affiliated with this whatsoever. This was purely voluntary and a great work by everyone in order to make this show happen. And uh, everyone was very proud. So I hope this answers all your questions. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, drive safe. I mean, sorry, fly safe.